Hi, my name is Jennifer Costello Michael, and I am with the Monongalia County Health Department in Little Morgantown, West Virginia. We have been a member of the mentorship program for the last three years, and without that investment financially um, in us, we would not be where we are today. Our food safety program is fairly small, and like everybody else, the, the budget is tiny. But with that money, we've been able to purchase two pieces of equipment um, for each individual sanitarian thermometers. We know that those are vital to our programs, along with two computers. And when we started out the program, of course, you start with your self-assessment. And we worked with a mentor who was fantastic and kind of showed us the ropes. Because when you get into this program, and if you don't understand anything about the retail program standards, you're scared. And I was scared from day one, um, but when I met with my mentor virtually because of COVID, they're like, relax, we got you. We'll help you, we'll walk you through, we'll give you the tools to succeed. And the tools that they provided made us move forward with our self-assessment with minor hiccups, but we were able to accomplish that our first year. Second year, we were awarded the mentorship um, grant again and we work with a jurisdiction in West Virginia, and they helped us out going with standard eight and walking us through that. And we wanted to start big because we knew that we weren't gonna meet it, and really that's not the main goal. Um, it's to see where your gaps are. If you don't know where your gaps are, how can you improve your program? And that's the goal of everyone, is to improve their food safety program. So we started with standard eight, and we went back to our board and said, hey, we didn't meet it, and they said, well, why not? And we, said, we don't have enough staff. So we were given another staff member to help us out and do our daily sanitarian work. So that's helped immensely. And now we're on the, the third year of the mentorship grant. We have another amazing mentor as always. They're always willing to help, call, email, um, share all the documents, procedures, policies that they have. Um, no ask is too big or too small. And we're working on standard six. And I'll have to tell you that I thought I knew a lot about the standards, but in this third year of the mentorship, we were able to, under the new program, the RFFM, we're, we were able to um, send me, of course, out here to Spokane. And I have been able to attend the workshop, the self-assessment workshop helped tremendously and has given me the backbone to continue to push through the standards um, and um, eager to go home and report what I've learned, who I've met, where we need to go and hopefully succeed. Um, that's the goal of everyone to succeed. Like I said, it's great if you can meet all the standards. We've met standard one and hopefully we'll have an auto standard seven here soon that we're going to meet. But six, we're not gonna meet. Standard eight, we didn't meet. But you have that roadmap and you can push things through. And that's what this program is all about, just ensuring the safety of our communities at large.